What is happening, Hardwood Nation? I'm your online host, Blaine Carraher, and join with me here in Studio A is Josh Vermillion to talk a little girls TVC basketball. So tonight, Nelsonville York took down Alexander 47 to 35 in an intense conference matchup. So Josh, walk me through what happened in this Nelsonville York game. Well, Blaine, both teams came out really fired up, and in fact, too fired up. The first quarter was really sloppy, a lot of turnovers based off the pressure defense. And But then about halfway through the first quarter, both teams kind of settled into their offense, and it was pretty even until a last-second layup by Allie McLean put Alexander up 14-12. to 12. And in the second quarter, that's when the Lady Buckeyes really switched up their defenses, going with that full-court pressure that I talked about earlier. And they also switched up to a 3-2 zone and a man-to-man -man defense. And they were having some trouble scoring, but late in the quarter, they made a nice run and went into halftime with a 25-22 lead. And then with all that momentum going into the half, you would think they would come out strong in the third quarter. But in the third quarter, they came out really flat, not even scoring any points until after six minutes. But then a couple key free throws from Madison Davis really sparked another late run, and they finished the third quarter with a 30-29 to lead. And then the fourth quarter, that is when Madison Davis really took over. She scored Nelsonville's first nine points, and it wasn't until under a minute left that anybody else on their team scored. And what it really came down to is Alexander turning the ball over late in the game, where Nelsonville was doing a good job of taking care of it and then knocking down their crucial free throws. So now, Josh, I know you just talked about Madison Davis. I know that she had a great game. Walking through here, how did she stand out in this game? Well, Madison Davis was all over the place. She came out with 20 points, 20 rebounds, two steals and three blocks in the game. And she was just a ball hawk. She always knew where the rebounds were coming off and she was always there to clean it up and get that second chance opportunity. And I mean, 20 and 20, that's like NBA numbers, but she's just one of those players that comes out of every game with a double-double. So now, not only did Madison Davis have a great game, the whole NY team did, and their game plan worked flawlessly. And we're not the only people that are saying that. We knew we had to get some lockdown defense. We knew we had to get some stops. And, and once our stops happened, we had to turn that into some offense and be patient with their offense and looking to, to our post and, um, and, and move the ball well. So now Josh, I know that NY had a great game and they ended up with the win and so did Athens and Benton County. So how can Alexander really work into this conference for the rest of the season? Well, I think Alexander just needs to be more patient on offense, really look for their shot. Tonight they forced a lot of passes that weren't there and a lot of shots that weren't there. And I think if they slow down and actually run through their offense a little bit and look for the open shots and cut down on the turnovers, they'll be okay. And with a game at Wellston this Thursday and then they host Vinton County next week, I think if they can get two wins, they'll have a lot of momentum heading into the latter part of the season. All right, well, thanks a lot, Josh. Well, that's all the basketball we have for you right now, but our show airs on Sunday evenings at 11 p.m. on WOUB. And until then, make sure you check us out on the web at woub.org slash heroes for all things TVC basketball. And make sure that you like us on Facebook at Hardwood Heroes. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at WOUB Sports and tag us in all of your favorite TVC pictures. Those could be airing on our segment Pick of the Week this Sunday evening. And also follow us on Twitter at Hardwood Heroes using that hashtag BeHeroic14. So for Josh Vermillion, I'm Blaine Carraher reminding you to be heroic.